Society and others with the best, and we are the only one who can certify you for regional anesthesia. So if you think, because you know you, you will apply for a job and say I'm a specialist in regional anesthesia, they will say, oh, everybody says that. Can you show something? Perhaps one day you will need any kind of recognition that you really can um, put your step more in, uh, in front of your concurrents. Now many people coming from Asia, from America, North and South taking this examination. That's why a good reason why you should perhaps think about it. Also the numbers. In blue you see uh, candidates um, taking part in uh, April part one and you see in uh, yellow one the one who succeed in uh, part two. These numbers are increasing um, all over the world. This is the um, the board, this is uh, our colleagues here, uh, these are chairs for the part one and for part two, wearing the Raval, you know, and uh, one month's morning, and we have also a great board, you see we are very international, all these people represent the different ideas and interests, and we all work to create an examination which is really representative about regional anesthesia. And if you think just attending the exam you will get it because you paid for it, you can forget that. These are the pacing rates. <coughs> you see the part one and yet the part two is around 60 to 70 percent. So it's uh, not a small chance that you can fail the examination. Mm -hmm. That's why if you want to take it, you should really learn and prepare because the whole thing is not an easy one. And just attending courses and paying for the exam will not be sufficient. <coughs> we run the examination normally during the annual congress, but this year we, uh, we will run it uh, four times. We were already in New York. We will go to India here in the um, uh, annual congress. And we will also go to Dubai for the part one. Many people asking us to make part one outside Europe. Part two, this is the oral examination. At the moment, it's only <coughs> during the annual congress. Uh, normally, in the first two days before the congress, Monday and Tuesday. But I think in the future we have to expand this part too because we have too many candidates and we are 16 examiners working like you all 12 hours a day. And this is something you cannot do for more than two days. And that's why one day we will um, this year we will expect something like 160 candidates, and it is really the, the upper max. <coughs> so you see a lot of concurrence for your future jobs. Um, the way to enter, how to do it, this is a two-part examination, it's a program of two years. You need an anesthesiology training, so it's an examination for an anesthesiologist. If you are a surgeon or a general practitioner or whatever, it's not allowed. So you have to be, you have to have a training program in anesthesiology. You have to be working clinically, so if you are a lab anesthesiologist, this is perhaps not the examination you should go for. <laughs> and someone has to say us, tell us, normally you, your boss, that you are really in a program. The part one, this is uh, probably the harder one, is a uh, multiple choice, 100 questions with five stems, uh, one stem, five uh, different um, answers you have to go through. You have to decide in each answer true or false. There will be no negative markings. You have three hours time, this is more than enough. Uh, we increased that time, it was two before, but uh, students want to have more time. Then we raise the time, but also the difficulty level, so it will be the same difficult. This is the first year we will run it with Orso. This is the same company who runs the European Diploma of Anesthesiology, DESA. You can make it with a, a, your laptop, your Mac, an iPad on site, your own tablet. It's a web-based protector. Um, it will be run at the moment only in English. In the future, we will have translations depending on the demand in Spanish or in Italian. We will have the English and the foreign language displayed. Um, for, the, for the written part, you will have technical support there. There will be examiners in the room, so there is always the possibility 
to ask questions. And at the end, you will get a sheet with a score, a passing rate, how well you perform in the different fields of this exam. So you will really have why you passed or why you <coughs> failed. Fail. This is the percentage of the topics. The most important, of course, is the anatomy. Um, Mario, do we have something like a website where they can, because you can take pictures, whatever you want, but I can leave this PDF. Do, do we have any possibility that people attending the course can download? Okay, so I will give the PDF to Mario and then you can download. <laughs> but you find everything into the website down here. And there will be statistics, acute pain, pharmacology will be a big part, physiology, um, and specific patient groups also, elderly trauma. So it's a very broad. I think not only to know one or three blocks, the written part is really something you have to go deep into. The part two, this is also new, which is the second year we will run. This is a 40 minutes examination with uh, two experts. You will have a human model. You will have to show the landmark, the new stimulation techniques of the description of um, superficial area for one block. And then you will get a second block. For ultrasound, you will have a high-end ultrasound machine, so no way to say that the machine is no good and stuff like that. <laughs> so there will be no sponsors, they don't pay anything for that. Um, a high-end machine, and you will have to demonstrate a block, how you perform a certain block, we will freeze the image, show me that, show me this, how you needle it that way, why out of playing, then you cannot say because someone told me, you have to give uh, whatever. And then you will have a clinical management of a case. You will have a case, dopamine, arthroplasty, patient, 85, aortic stenosis, how do you proceed? And then you will have a complication, typical complication, a local anesthetic intoxication, uh, uh, um, uh, damage of nerves, a uh, patient with anticoagulants and a catheter in place, things like that, a typical, typical possibilities. There will be, we have standardized, randomized exams uh, sequences. We have a package of 15 or 20 examinations. You will choose one of those, so by random, and then you will get these five scenarios. So there is no cheating, who pays me more or less, gets the better examination or whatever. But if you want to try, I will have my bank account in the last slide. Uh, you are free. <coughs> You have to an anesthesiology training, I told, I told you already, for the far part one. So if you want to go to Dublin this year and seek this examination, you need one workshop, one extra accredited workshop, or a workshop in your country with that uh, CME uh, uh, recognition. This means if you are here today, you, have, you will see for the part two all the requirements, you have everything you need for part one. So this workshop is okay, it's already done. You have to be an ESRA member. It's at the moment, because we have only one language, you're better advised to have a good English command because the, the questions are kept as easy as possible, but it's um, English. You have to register to the Congress, but only once. Or for part one, this is normally the easiest one, the, the easiest to do because it's the, the first day of the Congress and you can stay. Or for part two, once you have to go to the Congress to pay for the Congress and be there if possible. Uh, but for part one or part two. These are the list of the ESRA workshops. You find them also on the website. Madrid is one of those. You have Innsbruck, Paris, Eastern, uh, uh, Eastern Europe workshops and the Winter Week in uh, Austria. For the part two, you need of course to have passed uh, part one. This is, um, that's what we remove now because there were many people who had problems in the family, uh, changed the job and then they they uh, fell out these three years, and now we have opened it. There is no good idea to sit examination 2018 and to take part two in 2030. Perhaps it will be double as expensive, uh, longer examination, whatever. So you, if you make part one, look that you make part two in the next couple of years. Um, you need a confirmation of your head of the department that you perform regional anesthesia before we have a clear list but we cannot tell you to make 100 intercalines when you don't make shots. So you have to look yourself how you come to this, uh, to this uh, number. We have sometimes people who make 150 retro bulbar blocks and present with examination. It's possible. If you learn all the rest by yourself, it's also feasible. But it's a good advice to attend a solid program. You need, in total, for both examinations, three workshops. One has to be an ESRA workshop, one has to be a cadaver workshop, and one has to be a hands-on workshop. This 
Madrid fulfills Canada and Ezra. So you only need two hands on. You can do that at the Congress, you in the first Congress visit, you can do that in your national Ezra society, whatever ultrasound, and it has to be a certificate. You have to look for this CME recognition, not just a workshop in the cellar of any colleague in the bar. So it has to be a real workshop. Three of them. With that one, you have already two requirements. So it's not hard to do. You have to be clear, a valid membership, and a really good command. We should be able to understand you. If we cannot understand you, you cannot pass the exam. So it's not possible that we have a translator. In the future, perhaps, it will be that we will have some kind of different languages, but at the moment, you have to um, have good command of English. And you have to seek once or to pay once for the progress. Or part one or part two. I recommend you to make it for part one, but you can also go for part two to the Congress. <clears throat> and for the preparation, we have in the website, you will find everything. There are different possibilities. You have the annual Congress. There you have, we will make this the first time, EDRA preparation lectures, where we really tell you what we want. For the interstellene, I want this and this and this. For the infra, I want this and this and this. Above all, for the oral. And you have, you have a kind of EDRA mock exam, where we show you more or less in the group, we discuss different scenarios. We have Canada, we have clinical workshops. And all teachers will get the information from EDRA, what we want them to teach you. You have the Ezra Kadawa workshops, like here. I don't think you go, if you go out of here and you still have one question, then you didn't listen. Because I think they cover everything when you're here. Um, we have different suggested reading. We have English books, we have even French books. We have German, we have Spanish, what we say. Not every country, every language covers everything, but there is a vast variety of possibilities for you to learn. We recommend you websites where to look, the ASRA, the ANSCA, the Prospect website, where we get information out of for the written MCQs. So there is nothing is hidden, everything is open. If you read that all and learn it by heart, you will pass the exam with no problem. <coughs> ESRA UK is very active. They organize from the beginning. They have MCQ preparation course. I cannot tell you if that year it will take place because the organizer is not sure. In the future, there will be also a cadaver and ultrasound workshop in Cambridge with an ETRA part one and part two preparation course. So, but I cannot give you the dates. You have to stay in contact with that website. I'm sure all the societies, I think the next one will be Spain, will go step into that too and have own preparation course specific for EDRA with mock examinations in part one and part two. So all the societies will move and up to you to kick off your society to say well, that if we can help you, we need any information, whatever, then contact us or contact EDRA UK. They have already run it and they know how to do it. And I hope I will see you soon in Dublin for the Congress or if you want to take the chance then for the examination. Thank you for your listening. Any question? At the exam is too late. You have to ask now. No? Good. Thank you.